This week we're, we're starting a media campaign to raise awareness about the cold water. Uh, as the temperatures warm up, people are already getting excited and going outside. Uh, we've seen people in kayaks uh, even this past weekend and uh, last week uh, before, the, before the air temperature really warmed up. But the thing about it is the water is still very, very cold, 40 degrees or less, even right here in the bays. Uh, it'll remain cold for quite some time. So if you're going to go out on the water and try to enjoy some paddle sports uh, or even get out in your boat this time of year, you have to be prepared for the extremely cold water. Well, and one of the things, one of the problems we've seen over the years is even in mid-July around here, under the conditions we've got now, the water can stay very cold even if the air is 78, 80 degrees. You can get into some very cold water out there. Absolutely, and that water will stay very cold. Uh, just the nature of the Great Lakes keeps it chilly. So what we always told people when you're going to be out on the water, be prepared for the water temperature, not the air temperature, uh, and always expect that you might go in. Nobody's planning to enter the water, especially early in the season right now when it's, when it's chilly. But when it does warm up, uh, just for that, that water temperature, it could be 60 degrees or less, even in the mid, middle of the summer. Uh, and that, that temperature of water can uh, induce hypothermia easily. Uh, the baseline that we use for hypothermia is 77 degrees. Uh, for water temperature. As we're standing here, there is ice on West Bay. Not thick, but it's cold enough to have an ice cover. Small lakes, like in our county parks, Twin Lakes is completely iced over right now. That means that water is going to probably stay colder, longer into the spring and summer than normal. Absolutely. With the uh, unusually cold temperatures that we've had uh, this spring season, the water temperature is going to stay colder uh, even longer than, than what we're traditionally used to. Uh, so anytime that you're going out on the water uh, for any kind of recreation, uh, you really need to be prepared uh, and dress appropriately uh, in, in the event that you accidentally enter the water.